So now that we've got the new bumper installed, I want to talk to you about some of the features of the Iron Cross bumper. First and foremost, Iron Cross is made completely in the USA. These bumpers are actually handmade. They're cut to spec for the vehicle application, and all the plates and all the that uh, go into uh, constructing them are made to complement the truck that they're going on. And again, they're all fully welded. One of the things that's different about the Iron Cross is that they actually use a 10 gauge plate steel instead of some companies that use a 12 gauge because they want to be very cognizant of weight while still giving you full protection. These bumpers are going to stand up to whatever abuse you have without giving you ac extra weight that you don't need. Fully powder coated. If you come in and look, you can see the detail of the plasma cutting of the of the lettering, and of course it has the Maltese cross in the bottom of it. Really well made. You you can see the craftsmanship in these. I'm really uh, proud to see a bumper made in the USA with, at such quality levels. It installed very easily. Uh, if you come in a little closer, I'll talk to you about some of the other features. So as as I said, the main body of the bumpers itself is a 10 gauge plate steel, which gives you plenty of protection, plenty of strength for day to day and even the abuse it's going to get. All of the areas that are going to be key areas of need, needed extra strength like the winch plate and the bracing for it and the mounting brackets are all quarter inch steel so you do have all that extra strength where you need it. Of course you can see it has two D-ring attachments that are full thick heavy steel. I'm going to be able to take the stress of, of what's going on. Now the bumpers come in three different options. They have a plain bumper that won't have this push bar on it and then this is the push bar model and then they have a full grill model as well. So make sure you pick the one that you think is going to best fit your application and your needs in the field. One of the things that they have added recently is they've actually put a replacement for the winch uh, plate area to uh, have a front receiver for a hitch uh, that you can put in. So there's a hitch receiver unit that mounts to the winch tray and gives you that extra opportunity if you need a front hitch uh, position they've taken care of that for you. Really great uh, piece, really well engineered. Um, it has a lifetime on the bumper itself, it's got 120 days on the coating uh, and uh, just a great piece. Has a couple of different options, one of which we're going to show you now because they actually did send us the fog light kit for this bumper. We're going to show you how that installs next. So Iron Cross also has a rear bumper application for the older trucks too, and you can see we've already installed that. It installs very similar to the front bumper. It's going to be a very straightforward process. It does come with new lights uh, for the plate. Uh, you can see we also installed some rigid lightings, and we'll talk about that in, a next, in another episode, but a really good option. We've actually wired these to be reverse light replacements because these old trucks are infamous for having very poor reverse lighting. But you can see we have the D-ring attachments here, the 10 gauge steel. Great piece and really does complement the front bumper very well. So another great option from Iron Cross. So one of the other things that Iron Cross sent us when they sent us these great bumpers was their uh, LED bumper upgrade kit which is a fog light kit to go into the holes that they've already prepared in the bumper itself. It's a great kit. We're going to show you what comes in it and we'll show you how easy it is to install. So let me show you everything that comes in the fog light upgrade kit. Obviously you have your wire harness, everything is already pre-wired, everything has shielding on it, it should be pre-measured. We're going to show you how all that installs, it has a switch on it. We're actually going to change this switch out to match up with some switches that are already in the cab of the truck. But the lights themselves are very well made, they're premium lights going to give you lots of life. It's actually a single LED fog light system. It gives you up to 693 feet of usable light and you can see the comparison it shows between halogen, standard halogen fog lamps. This is a beam pattern with a 10 degree uh, spot on it so it's going to be a very focused fog light beam. Uh, it's got a full housing, it's going to stand up for years, it's going to be a great uh, addition to our bumper system. So we're going to get everything out, look at our truck, plan out our wiring and put it in. Okay, so we've got both of the lights installed now. We'll worry about aiming them once we've got everything wired, which is the next step. Our recommendation is to plug in the lights in the wiring loom, go ahead and plug in the lights, and then wire back from there to the battery and then all the way back to the switch. That way you make sure everything reaches and you've got plenty of uh, clearance and plenty of length in everything that you're doing. So we've got the lights in, let's do some wiring.